back guys today we're going to be installing salt minion on the second instance that i've launched uh, i've left it running stop so it doesn't accrue any bills um, we're going to use user data to go ahead and install the salt minion on this so it does it during boot time um, as some of you may know that aws uses cloud init for the user uh, first user data so you can actually go to um, the cloud init docs and you can find salt minion here in the cloud init docs Yep, right here. So I have actually never gotten to this to work even with the correct key configuration So we're not going to use this method. We're going to use a method that I know which which works. So Let's go ahead and build our user data details or actually user data script to go ahead and install salt minion so first well, this is this is going to be a bash script, so we need to specify slash bin bash. And the second thing, we need to install pip. Um, so we have to get that particular URL and oops, to get that particular URL and be able to install it. So, yeah, this is the one we need. So let's go ahead and curl that URL and install it with Python. Uh, let me go ahead and change my shell here to shell syntax highlighting. All right, so now that we have pip installed, we're gonna go ahead and use pip to install salt. Um, now, if you remember last time when we installed salt on our salt master, we had an issue with the path variables. The we, you know, the user local wasn't in the path variable. So this, this way, I'm going to go ahead and specify the whole path variable for pip to install salt. That way, we don't run into this issue. Once we do that, we need to make the directories. And we need to configure salt to go to the correct master. So we have to specify to go to connect to the correct master. So let's configure this minion. So echo master is this particular, the master is private IP address. Again, you want to use a private IP address because you want it to wrap internally, not externally. So. And we also want to name this minion. Let's go ahead and name this web1 because this is going to be our web host. So and that's the file, the minion underscore ID file that we need to specify for the name of the minion. All right, so now that we've got the minion configured, um, we would just need to run salt. And we're gonna run it in daemon mode, so we need to specify that hyphen D flag. Okay, so let's just go ahead and review. We're installing pip. Uh, using pip, we're installing salt. And then we're making the minion, the salt and the minion.d directory. Let's add another slash there just to be safe. And then we're going and creating the two configuration files. This one to point to the correct master's IP and this one to, to name the salt minion. And then we're running it. So let's go ahead and copy all of this and go to our AWS instance that is stopped and go to change user data and paste it in there now um okay so let's go ahead and start the instance all right so i'm going to take a pause here and then i'm going to restart the video uh when this is 
finished launching. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so this instance is now finished launching. Um, we're gonna go ahead and check the master to see if it's pending a, um, a newly accepted or a key to be accepted. And it is, look, see, web one, just like how we named that particular minion. So let's go ahead and accept that key from the minion. I'm just gonna do globbing because it's, it's just easier to do that. All right, so now I've got two instances on my salt keys, the salt master minion and the web one key. Now I should be able to ping that particular host as well. So let's ping everything. So test that thing and see, it returns true. That means I can now control that minion from this particular master. I can control that other instance, that other physical server if it had to be like that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a break from here on. Uh, on. On the next video, we will go ahead and create a salt state file which installs several web, web applications and configures them and puts them on web one. Uh, this is to mimic basically different parts of an application that you might run into your into your job. It's like certain set of instances or servers have to be you know web front end, certain applications, certain databases, and so on. So we're going to go ahead and just mimic the web front end uh, one in the next video. All right. So I'll see you guys then. Um, have a good one.